Hey friends, I'm Miss B. Guess what? Today is meteorological day. In this story, Fly Guy goes on an exciting journey to explore all things related to weather. Fly Guy presents Weather by Ted Arnold. A boy had a pet fly named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. Buzz and Fly Guy were visiting a weather station. Whoa, Buzz said to Fly Guy, it's windy. Let's get in out of the cold. They headed for the door. Weather is all around us and it changes all the time. It affects what people wear and do each day. When it is sunny, people wear sunglasses. I wear sunscreen when I'm playing outside too. When it is cold, people bundle up in warm coats. When it rains, people carry umbrellas. They may even wear rain boots. Earth's weather is controlled by the sun. Changes in weather are caused by changes in the Earth's atmosphere. Atmosphere. Atmosphere surrounds Earth and is made up of air and water. Our weather starts in outer space. When air moves, it is called the wind. A breeze is a slow moving wind. Wind that moves quickly is called a gale. A very strong gale can damage trees and homes. Three quarters of Earth's surface is covered in water. Water moves between the ground and the air. It has three forms, liquid, solid, and gas. When the sun warms water on Earth, the water turns from a liquid to a gas. Then it rises into the air, forming clouds. Raindrops. Raindrops are not shaped like teardrops. They look more like hamburger buns. As the air gets cooler, the water changes from a gas back to a liquid or a solid. It can fall to the Earth as rain, hail, or snow. This is called the water cycle. Clouds form when water rises up into the air. There are different types of clouds. Cirrus, cirrus clouds are wispy and thin and made up of ice. Cumulus, cumulus clouds are fluffy and made up of water. These clouds look like cotton candy. Stratus, stratus clouds are thick and flat. Fog is a stratus cloud on the ground. Cumulonimbus, cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus clouds are tall and gray and made up of ice and water. They are also called thunder clouds. They can cause heavy rains, lightning, or even tornadoes. Precipitation, precipitation. Precipitation is rain, hail, or snow. When water droplets fall back to Earth as liquid, they are called rain. The colors of the rainbow are always in the same order. If it rains too much, the ground may not be able to absorb the extra water. Water can pool in puddles. When puddles become large and a cover of a lot of land, this is called flooding. If it doesn't rain enough, the ground becomes dry. And when it doesn't rain for a usually long period of time, it's called a drought. Sometimes winds make ice go up and down inside a storm cloud. Layers of ice stick to one another forming balls. These ice balls are called hail. Hail can be smaller than a pea or larger than a grapefruit. If it's cold enough, snow crystals can grow inside a cloud and form snowflakes. Every snowflake is different. When it is very windy and snowy, this is called a blizzard. During a blizzard, winds can blow as fast as 45 miles per hour. One blizzard dropped about 50 inches of snow in only 36 hours. The New York blizzard of 1888. Lightning is a giant electric spark. Electricity is created when water droplets freeze alongside rain and wind inside a storm cloud. The electricity builds up until it flashes outside of the cloud as lightning. Lightning is hotter than the surface of the sun. When it strikes, the air gets so hot that it makes sound waves vibrate. This creates a boom of thunder. Lightning is dangerous. Stay indoors if you see lightning. If you are outdoors, crouch down and stay away from tall objects. Remember, when thunder roars, head indoors. 
Hurricanes are the strongest storms on Earth. They bring heavy rain, high winds, rough waves, and floods to coastlines. This storm has a different name depending on where it forms. In the Atlantic Ocean, it is called a hurricane. In the Indian and South Pacific Oceans, it is called a tropical cyclone. And in the North Pacific Ocean, it's called a typhoon. A hurricane forms when a group of thunderstorms spins over warm oceans. As this group of storms become stronger, winds rush to its center. This causes the entire group to spin, forming one massive storm. From space, a hurricane looks like a giant pinwheel. A funnel cloud can form when a powerful thunderstorm meets winds that change direction as they move up into the sky. If the funnel cloud touches the ground, it is called a tornado. Tornadoes can have a lot of damage. They have some of the strongest winds on Earth. They can lift cows, cars, and even homes off the ground. Tornado Alley in the United States has reported tornadoes more than anywhere else in the world. People use underground shelters during tornadoes. If you hear a tornado siren, seek shelter right away. Most tornadoes last for just 10 minutes. Weather can get weird. Tornadoes that form over water are called water spouts. A water spout does not suck up water, but it can suck up frogs and other small animals. Animals can stay trapped in a cloud until they fall from the sky, like rain. A dust storm can happen when powerful winds blow across dry land. Clouds of dust and sand fill the air. A black blizzard is another name for a dust storm. Meteorologists. Meteorologists. Meteorologists are scientists who study changes in weather. They use many tools. Weather balloons and radar systems collect information about the atmosphere. A wind vane shows which way the wind blows. Some meteorologists tell people what the weather might be like in the future. This is called a forecast. Forecast. Other meteorologists follow storms so they can better understand them. Some people call them storm chasers. What? The climate, climate. The climate is the what the weather conditions are usually like in an area. There are four main climates, temperature, tropical, desert, and polar. In a tropical climate, winters are cold and summers are warm. A tropical climate is a warm and humid almost all the time. Humidity, humidity, is a measurement of how full of water the air is. When the humidity is high, fog and clouds can form. A desert climate is dry all year. It almost never rains. A polar climate is cold. There are summer days when it never gets dark and winter days when it's always dark. Antarctica is both a polar climate and a desert climate. A climatologist, climatologist. A climatologist is a scientist who studies Earth's climates. Earth's climates are changing. Climate change can make the weather change too. Global warming is melting glaciers, which adds more water to Earth's oceans. More water in the atmosphere may mean more big storms in some places and fewer in others. Buzz and Fly Guys tips to help Earth. Number one, use less energy. Turn off the lights when you don't need them. Number two, don't waste water. Take shorter showers. Number three, recycle. And number four, plant trees. Please help keep Earth healthy. That's everything about weather, guys. Later, Gators. Learn, grow, and let the stories flow.